Ian would say to Jorah, don't expect any favors from that girl. Be kind to yourself, that would be my main piece of advice. Favorite day on set was definitely a day in Asuna when we were doing the gladiatorial sequence. My little girl was there. You know, she watched her papa work. David uh, said, oh, you know, come sit here, you can call and show. She was like, action. You know, the whole massive, massive sequence with hundreds of extras. People fighting then. Cut! And everyone would go to a hole. Really <laughs> made people laugh, made me laugh. <laughs> my first sword, I have a few swords over the course of Thrones, but I, I love my first. I had a pe peacock feathered hilt, my, my broad sword. Yeah. Designed for piercing flame and I lived with it for a good few seasons and uh, I loved the weight of it and everything about it. I'd say my favorite proper costume is my yellow golden shirt. Do I know you? I know you. Which I just wore forever. Who are you? Oh, no one. But she is the mother of dragons. She needs true protectors now more than ever. You know, they would be suggested, I think we should have a you know, black uh, shirt for this bit. And I, why? I like my yellow goldie. Just got, it looked so manky by the end. So I had to contract grayscale, really, to get rid of it. Finally, he's yet into some. But I think I should still wear, no, Ian, you've got grayscale, right? It was all over the friggin' shirt, so you can't wear that anymore. Oh, OK. You know, I saw this, uh, I saw this young, Actress, come on, set. Songs and histories from the Seven Kingdoms. Thank you, sir. And she just took on a massive role. And pulled it off. And the most beautiful thing about Amelia, she has no idea how good she is. She genuinely has no idea. And she still has no idea. She's always sort of vulnerable which gives us part of her, part of a great gift. She's a wonderful actress, but she's also a wonderful person. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Don't be. All I've ever wanted was to serve you. And she deserves all the good things that Thrones, you know, will bring her. Tyrion Lannister was right. I love you. She's a very good friend, and uh, I love on and off the set with uh, Amelia here. Yeah. <laughs> Thrones is uh, the Holy Grail, where it's something that is enormously, globally, massively popular, and people think it's cool. It's, you know, it's critically approved of. And you have to love those times, because if you're not loving them, then you may as well not turn up to work, because it doesn't get better than that. It's been transformative to all our acting lives, you know, or right across the cast. You know, Thrones become a family. It feels like a family. It's lovely to have my family there with it. It's just indicative of what, you know, the laugh that we have and the fun that we have doing it. I've loved the role, I've loved the people, and I find it really hard to let it go.